You alright guys, how are we doing? Clinicality here. Today, we're reviewing another hero card. This time, it's Diego Valeri. And as you can see in his picture, he's holding up the MLS Cup after the Portland Timbers won their division beating Columbus Crew, in which he had a really good game. But anyway, this is the team that I used him in, in form Clint Dempsey up front, who I have reviewed previously, so if you haven't seen that, go back and watch that. He is amazing. But anyway, the team was really fun to use. I enjoyed every single player in this team. Nobody underperformed. Everyone worked really well and it was just a lovely team. Now it says we've played nine games. Once again, something was up. Maybe the EA servers or my connection. I don't know. However, we actually only played five games this time. I played the first five games. I was trying to finish off with the sixth game and it disconnected. So I tried it again and again and again and it disconnected four times in a row. So it says seven goals, four assists in nine games. It's actually that in five games, which is insane for any player, but for a cam, that is really, really good. And this guy only cost us 20,750 coins for a hero card. So I wasn't expecting all that much, but this guy really did perform, as you can see by his stats. Now Valeri's base stats, he has 69 pace, 80 dribbling, 78 shooting, 37 defending, 82 passing, and 65 physical. Now jumping into the in-games, he's got a few decent stats in there, 86 vision being one of them, 84 reactions is also very nice. Onto his skill attributes now, and he's got some really, really good ones in here. 82 ball control, 84 curve, 82 free kicks, 86 long shots, 84 shot power. He can play cam or right wing, he's right footed, he has high medium work rates, freestyle skills, freestyle weak foot, and he has the long shot taker trait to finish it all off. Into the clips now and you'll see here it's Dempsey playing the ball into Valeri, he is so far up the pitch and that's what I'm going to start off with. This card is so attacking minded, so positive, he wants to be forward making stuff happen and he is always, always forward. You see here Giovinco's got the ball, he bursts forward, takes the ball off of Dempsey essentially and puts it in the back of the net himself. He loves attacking, he loves getting forward and being part of the attack. And I found him so easy to use because he's always open, he's always forward. Obviously he is an attacking mid and you want him to be just that, attacking, and he is. Now onto his dribbling, his dribbling is exceptional, he's so agile, he's so balanced on the ball, and he's so responsive, if you turn left, he will turn left straight away, there is no delay in any of his dribbling at all and I love it. And yes, he only has 3 star skill moves, now usually that would annoy me because I like to do a few skills. But it doesn't on him. His dribbling is just so good that it doesn't even matter. You can literally just turn past players. You don't need to do any skills. And dribbling with this guy is so much fun. Now onto his shooting. This guy's finishing is on another level. He literally finishes like a top class striker. Everything goes in like finesse shots and drilled shots. He even scored a header for me. Volleys as well. As you saw at the beginning he scored a really nice volley. His shooting is insane. However the only downfall with his shooting for me was his long shots. I tried quite a few of them and none of them actually came off. Now the card says he has 86 long shots, it didn't feel like that for me. It was one of the only downfalls I could find with this card. They had the power behind them but they didn't, didn't really trouble the keeper that much. Most of them went over the bar, they weren't that accurate and so for a cam if you're going to be taking long shots he's not the best in my opinion. His passing, his passing is insane. Short passing, long passing, crossing, it doesn't matter. He will put it inch perfect to where it needs to go his passing is so good and that is with both left foot and right foot his freestyle weak foot didn't feel that much of a weak foot for me nearly every pass went perfect with either foot and Valeri was right at the heart of everything good that happened in that midfield spot making those passes linking up the play really nicely now he's not the quickest but he actually felt okay a couple of times he had to run past a few players his acceleration in particular is really really good he has these little bursts of speed to get away from players and make space his sprint speed, however, isn't the best, but you're not going to be using it all that often. In that cam roll, really all you need is the dribbling and the acceleration to make a bit of space. Lastly, his strength. Obviously, he's not very strong. He is an attacking midfielder, so he's not going to need an awful lot of strength. He is agile enough to get away from players, but if they do get next to him, they probably will win the ball. And this last clip here was just a prime example of how I like to play the game. And it nearly resulted in a goal. Dempsey just couldn't quite pull it in the back of the net. But a really nice bit of passing play from the whole team. And the back heel from Valeri was really good. Now on average, over the five proper games that I played, he got an average match rating of 8.9. Which is pretty incredible to get that every single game. That is quite something. His pros have to be his close range finishing. Both short and long passing. His dribbling. 
his positioning he is always in the right place at the right time, his agility is incredible and his acceleration. Now his cons, I thought there might be quite a lot lacking with this card, however it proved me completely wrong because there were barely any cons I could find about him. The only ones were his long shots and his strength. Now I'm going to give him a rating of 9 out of 10. He is an incredible player. Real surprise for me when I, when buying him. I expected him to be okay but nothing special. But this guy is really really good. And for what you pay for him. He goes for about 25k on both consoles. That is so cheap. Now obviously the MLS is not the most popular league. But you can still build teams around him quite easily. He's Argentine as well. So you can fit him into a few teams. And I 100% recommend you go out and try him. Because he is so so impressive. As always, if you do, let me know down in the comments what you guys think of him. If you enjoyed, please drop a like on the video, subscribe for more player reviews and other FIFA content. I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.